Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here. Welcome to the road to my 208th Platinum Trophy. Today's game is Enigmatis Tales of Maple Creek, You've I think is the name of it. Far. It's kind of a, like a really weird name. And uh, anyway, this game is basically the same thing as that Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink game. It's made by the same developers. It's extremely similar in every way. Uh, it's another mostly very easy Platinum Trophy. It's a little tougher than the other one just because they're about the same amount of time. But this one, the puzzles are a little bit more annoying because they like none of the hidden object puzzles are set in stone. Like They're always different no matter... Uh, when you're playing it or like each time you play it, it's going to be completely different, which is unfortunate. So this one is a little bit tougher overall, but it's still not too hard. As long as you follow a guide, it's like a three to five hour platinum. So nothing too difficult. Uh, you do have a few annoying trophies, mostly this one. Finish any mini game unless actually, no, that one's not that hard. Never mind. Uh, you have to complete the entire game on the expert difficulty without using any hints or uh, skipping anything. Those aren't really the problem. It's mostly uh, just these two trophies and this trophy. So these three trophies all together are probably the worst. You have to finish a hidden object puzzle in less than four mistakes, which is really annoying because these puzzles can be quite aggravating at times because there's only like nine objects and they're completely random each time. Uh, find three hidden objects within three seconds. That one's actually pretty easy. In fact, you can really do that one when you're playing, if you uh, want to play on normal, like when you're doing the uh, side story of it, you could probably do that. Uh, any hidden object puzzle in less than a minute. I think you could probably do both of these in the side story, like the prologue episode that you get once you beat the game. And if you do it there on the normal difficulty, then you can literally just spam the X button and you'll get it in like 20 seconds. So... Really, it's probably just this one is probably by far the worst out of all of them. But overall, it's not too, too hard of a game as long as you're following a guide and you'll figure out most of what to do. It's structured very similarly to Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink. Uh, it's literally all gold trophies, which is awesome. So lots of good, easy trophy points quickly. I assume there's probably going to be more games like this in the future because these developers seem to be probably well liked by trophy hunters by now. Uh, with that, level 44, 55%, 10,662 total trophies, 208 platinums, 1,065 golds, 2,629 silvers, 6,760 bronzes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I don't know what's coming next. So, see you guys then.